Daddy. Is Mandy in? Uh, no. Uh, I was uh, talking to Ashley and he said that um, Mandy's getting married to Butch. <laughs> well, that's not true, is it? Is it? Lisa, please. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Why? I, I don't believe this. I'm, she, why? I, I, don't, I don't understand it. What, what's going on? You're best off talking to Mandy herself. But why can't, why can't you tell me? Is, is, is she doing it to hurt me or, uh, or to spite me? No. I'm sorry, Paddy. Tell her I was looking for her and I want to speak to her. I don't want to go to school. Oh, Donna, it will be all right. Morning, Paddy. Morning, Viv. Village life's so friendly, isn't it? You can't make me go. Oh, now you're being silly. I'm scared. I promise you, those boys will not bully you again. I can't face them. Well, don't worry. I will sort them out. Hiya. I bought Betty some flowers for putting up with us. Oh, that's nice, sir. Eh? You didn't bump into Paddy by any chance, did you? No. Why? He's just been round here looking for you. What for? He's found out about you marrying Butch. <sighs> Flame it! Who's told him? Ashley. Ashley? Well, if you can't trust a vicar to keep his gob shut, who can you trust? Paddy was very upset, Mandy. What are you going to do? Um... Well, Kelly said he's off to Venice today. I I'll just stay clear of him. Well, don't you think you owe the poor lad an explanation? And tell him what? That his mum's given me £6,000 to marry somebody else. He'd be round at her house like a shot, and then where would we be? The deal would be off. And if you so much as lay one finger on Donna... I won't. ..or say one word to threaten her... I won't. Well, I'm telling you, if you do, I will be doing the bullying. Not you. Got it? Why are you going on at us? We didn't start it. Oh, so it wasn't Robert who punched Donna in the face, then? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't care who started it. I'm finishing it. Right? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. I've said I'm sorry, haven't I? Well, as long as you are, because I have had enough of this. Beef? Yeah? I need your advice. How to apply to join men, sir? You what? Never mind. No, no, it's about women. What about them? Well, well that's what I need your advice about, about courting them. <coughs> you see, there's someone that I really like. But she said that about Sophie, and when she didn't want out to do with you, you ended up stalking her. Yeah, I know, but but this is different, honest. I like her and she likes me. Can you give us some advice? Well, you want to smarten yourself up for starters. You look like a tramp on a bad day. Well, I can't afford much. I know a place where you can get some good seconds. Not Mandy's. No, it's somewhere a bit more upmarket than that. Great. Can you take us there? You're joking. Oh, come on, but if it's really important to me. <sighs> All right, go on then. Brilliant. When? Uh, tomorrow. Look, I've got to go. I'm going to go and see Cathy. OK. Hey, be sure to send her my love. Yeah, I'm sure she'll appreciate that. See you tomorrow. Do you want? You tell me it's not true. What in? Just, just, just tell me I'm having a nightmare and, and, and I'm going to wake up at any moment. What are you on about? <laughs> you and Mandy aren't getting married. It's just the, the dingle's winding everybody up, isn't it? No. And any road. How do you know about it? You can't marry Mandy. Yes, I can. And any road. It's got nothing to do with you. You missed your chance, mate. Now it's my chance. You don't deserve her. Butch, tell me where she is. Because I need to talk to her. I don't know. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Hello, stranger. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm not bad. Had a nice holiday? <laughs> You're always ready for a break in the first term of the school year. <laughs> what about you? Oh, not bad. What did you do? Nothing much. Just went to Paris for a couple of days. Really? Yeah, yeah. Before flying down to Monte Carlo in a private jet, losing half a million in the casino. Still, you can afford it. <laughs> but you had a good time. Yeah. Good. 
Uh, I'll uh, see you later. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe you let him punch you. It just happened so quick. In the face. Yeah. Did you punch him back? I didn't get a chance. Yeah, well, you will do. You, bad it. We'll see you at break. Break's only for 15 minutes. We'll stay away from him. Is there anybody there? Hello. You look great. I feel great. I'm so bored. Ah, oh, well, maybe this'll do. I thought of flowers, but flowers don't exactly pass the time, do they? A thousand pieces. Yeah. Keep you out of mischief. Not much chance of that in here. Well, aren't there any nice doctors with a good bedside manner? Mm, one or two. Well, stop complaining then. Biff, I'm desperate to get out of here. Yeah, I know you are, but you've got to listen to what Dr. Khan says. I feel fine. I feel almost back to my old self. And I'd much rather put this together at home than in here. Yeah, I know, I know. So, could you have a word with Dr. Khan? See if there's any chance of me getting out of here very, very soon. Please? Can't see him. No. Maybe they've given up. I won't get on it. Donna's my mate. Get off. Oh, leave him alone. Think you had, dear. Oh, clear off, Wimp. I said clear off. You're gonna get in trouble. You're gonna get in trouble. Shoot it. You're the one in trouble. Oh, kick him, Donna. Go on, kick him. Oh, not like that. Ah. Go on, kick him. What? Where did you go on your half-term holiday? Didn't I tell you? No, you just cleared off and didn't say anything. Are you sure? Grim, of course I'm sure. <laughs> Rachel, I'm sorry. I thought I'd mentioned it to you. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not a problem. Though. I was just seeing some old university friends. It's no dark secret. I'm sorry, I should have told you. It's OK. Maybe we can... Make up for lost time? That's a promise. So do you fancy coming around tonight? Tonight? First day back. Got a lot of preparation to do. Sorry. Well, never mind. Maybe when you've got time. Oh, quick, miss! Robert's getting beaten up! Then tell me you don't love me. Go on. Tell me you don't love me. And I'll turn around and I'll walk away and I will never bother you again. You're just trying to win me over again, Paddy. Well, it won't work. Just stay away from me. Well, you've got to talk to me. I don't do anything as far as you're concerned. Mandy, I, I love you. Yeah, well, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? Well, I think I've got a right to know what's going on. Why are you doing this? You've no rights. Right, well, I'm not going to go to Venice till we sort this out. You're marrying Butch for! Mind your own business. Get lost. Ah! I'm sorry, Robert. I've just got to finish off here. Then Mr. Clark's going to take you down to the hospital, just to be on the safe side. OK. Right. They can't do much. I wouldn't worry. And even if they do suspend us, we can spend all day together, going to Leeds or summer. It'll be great. I'm not going nowhere, are you? You what? You word. Just keep away from me. I don't want anything more to do with you. Miss Strickland's going to see you and your parents tomorrow. In the meantime, we'll be taking you home.
thought you were making us a butter. Oh, Lise, I'm sorry. Are you all right, love? I saw Paddy. And? You were right. I'm really hurting him. Not as much as you're hurting yourself, love. What did you tell him? Nothing. Can't, can I? Please, it was so difficult. I wanted to tell him everything, but I knew what would happen. It would blow everything. And then we'd lose the house. Oh, man, did you know this is all wrong? Maybe I should have a word with Zach. Call the whole thing off. No, I'm going through with this. It's my decision and I want to. Oh, come on, Mandy. I know that's not true. Me and Butch know what we're doing and why we're doing it. This is for the family and right now they're the most important thing in my life. And Paddy? After what I said, I think I'd be glad to escape to Venice. I'm extremely pleased with her progress. So she should be able to go home sooner than you thought. But we still need to keep her under observation. Rehabilitation in serious head injuries like this is very slow. She's not likely to get out within a week or so. <sighs> out of the question. Oh, but she's desperate to get home, Doc. I can understand that. But for her sake, you must try and persuade her to be a, a patient patient. Well? Yes, you're doing OK. No, you can't go on for several weeks yet. Biff, I am climbing the walls. Yeah, well, you want to be careful you don't fall and bang your head again. I'm serious. Yeah, I know you are, but you've got to listen to what the doc says. But I'm feeling perfectly all right. Cathy, you were nearly killed. OK. So tell me, what am I going to do myself all day? I'm about to have lunch. Do you want to join me? Yeah, that would be great. Oh, uh, have you seen Kim? Someone phoned earlier. Well, she went to visit Steve at the remand centre. She what? Well, it's not illegal, is it? No, but it's highly suspicious. I mean, why is she visiting him? They are still married. Yes, but if we're to believe innocent little Kim... Chris... Well, they'll hardly be whispering sweet nothings across the table. Christopher! So what are they to talk about, unless it's something to do with the robbery? You're doing it again! Sorry? Could I see a little more of Dr. Jekyll and less of Mr. Hyde, please? I'm sorry, Laura. You know, you have a great smile. It almost makes you look attractive. <laughs> I'll sort out lunch. So, how are you? OK. Considering. Tired. I'm not sleeping very well. So noisy. I miss you. Me too. I wish I could just hold your hand. So do I. But someone might see. We don't want to send out the wrong signals. They might think we're plotting together. Spaulding was here again earlier. Oh? He's still going on about the money. Let him. He's obviously getting desperate. Kim, he said if I don't tell him where the money is, I could get a stiffer sentence. They're talking about attempted murder. <coughs> don't listen to him, but he is bluffing. This place is driving me mad. The thought of spending... Steve. We can't let him have the money. But if we do, I could be out of here in... And throw away everything we've worked for? <sighs> Look, that money is our future. Ours. I know, I know. Well, that's what you've got to do, Steve. Look to the future. Knowing that when you do come out, I'll be waiting. And so will the money. Hiya. Bro. Oh, made yourself at home then. Viv asked us to make a pot. OK? Here, make yourself useful. Take it through to her. Uh, Terry, no offence, but how long do you plan on staying here? I want it nice to be made welcome. Yeah, well, it's a post office, not a hotel. You must save all your charm for the women. 
If this interview goes all right, I'll be off your hands quicker than you can say two pints of bitter. Good luck, then. Hiya. Hi. Uh, I've come to see Terry. Lucky Terry. How are you? I'm a bit worried about this interview tomorrow. Oh, you'll be fine, Terry. If the brewery want to see you again, it means you're in with a good chance. Yeah, well, that's why I'm worried. Right now, I don't want to leave Emmerdale. And I'd be really upset to see you go. Would you? But you'd be mad not to take it. You make a brilliant landlord. All that experience and your charm. Yeah, oh, yeah all right, give over. <laughs> no, don't give over. I like it. I'll see you later. I've got a few things to sort out before tomorrow. I don't know why you're giving the time of day. Because I like him and we get on. Yeah, well, I don't encourage him too much, because he might think he's in with a chance. Maybe he is. And maybe he isn't. But we both know there's only one bloke that's really got a chance with you. Oh, yeah? And who's that? Oh, come on, Trish. Stop playing games. You fancy me, and I fancy you. You fancy yourself more. We've wasted enough time as it is. I'll think about it. See ya. See ya, love. Don't tell me what's happened. Donna's been involved in a very serious fight. With the Sugden boys. One of them, yes, Robert. I don't believe it. I only warned him this morning. Mum. What's happened down at the school? Mum. Donna got excluded just for wearing a low-star. Mum, please. The least you could do is exclude that lad for good. It wasn't his fault. You expect me to believe that after what he did to you? Yes, it was my fault. And I'm really, really sorry. Don't be daft, love. We all know whose fault it was. Are you sure you're OK? Yeah, I'm fine, Mum. I just wish I had have done something before it got to this. I think we can promise it won't happen again. The deputy head's seeing Mrs Windsor tomorrow, and she's taking it very seriously. Yeah, well, I hope she is. The school should have been aware of this bullying before it started. It's not always that easy to pick up on it. Well, maybe you should look at where the school went wrong, because as a parent, I'm not happy about it. That's what we're doing. Mum. All right. All right, I won't go on about it anymore. Just as long as you're all right, that's all that matters. When you're in a place like this, you look for little things to help you through the day. But what really keeps me going is looking forward to your visits. Steve. What? What? <sighs> I'm gonna have to make this my last visit for a while. No. I'm sorry, Steve. I feel terrible, but I've got no other option. Why not? I can't play the caring wife, can I? But your visits are the only thing that stops me from going out of my mind. I know. And I'm sorry. I really am. But I can't pretend that you masterminded the whole theft on your own and, and still keep visiting you. It looks suspicious. Surely you can see that. I can, but it doesn't make it any easier. I have no other visitors. I feel totally isolated. I know. But that's what I'm saying. You just gotta hang on in there. Just sit tight and before you know it, you'll be out. We'll be together again. As a family. Oh, I'll get that. Probably Zach after some beer money. <laughs> Is Mandy in? Is she? You best come in, Mum. Mandy? I don't know what you've come round for. I've got nothing more to say to you. I'll uh, let the pair of you sort yourselves out. I couldn't go without speaking to you. Look, I, I can't believe this. What? It's only a few weeks ago since we nearly got back together again. Before I realised what an idiot I was. Don't, please. 
you know when I said that I knew that you loved me? Well, I wasn't being arrogant. I just know that you do. Don't kid yourself. And earlier, you couldn't deny it, could you? Well, could you? I've never loved anybody the way that I love you. Man, don't touch me! You're frightened, aren't you? Of you? Oh, don't make me laugh. Me? Of yourself? Of your, uh, your emotions? You're talking rubbish! Well, what are you hiding, man? Will you, will you speak to me, please? I, I really care for you. I'm, I don't know why you're marrying Butch. Makes a cup of tea. Hello. Hi. This is a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd call round, see how it went taking Donna back. <sighs> Viv Windsor got on a high horse, as usual. Donna's in real trouble. I know. She's going to get one heck of a roasting from Miss Strickland tomorrow. What? Maybe we should rename her Donna Kebab. <laughs> That's awful. That wasn't the real reason I came round. No? Huh? It was an excuse to see you. I thought you had planning to do. Oh, I can wait. This can't. If I marry Butch... Yeah? If I marry Butch, the house is saved. How? Oh. We get the money to pay for it. I don't understand. But how will marrying Butch get you the £6,000? Well? I can't tell you. Why not? I can't. And so who's going to give you this money? Paddy, I can't tell you. And wh well, why would anybody give you this money? Oh, no. None of this makes sense. Oh, I get it. What? How could you stoop so low, Mandy? What are you on about? You're threatening to marry Butch to blackmail me into giving you the money, aren't you? No! Well, why else would you even think about marrying him? And, and why won't you tell me who's giving you the money? Because no one is. Do you really think I'd do that? Yeah, I think you're that desperate. But I'm sorry, Mandy. But I'm not as soft as I look. You. Go on, get out! Get out of your gondola, get out of my life! Fine by me! Cos at least now I know what you're really like. You're a scheming, lying money grabber. Come on, get out! I never want to see you again! 